Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth here. So I wanted to do this quick video in just talking about the polarity that's rising and the need to ground ourselves, especially for those who are here um, on some form of a spiritual journey or you're trying to grow yourself spiritually um, throughout this time. So I just published a blog today and I really have... I have the ability to really detach myself from things to see what are. And, um, in, in the one thing that is happening today, especially with working in, in fitness for the last 15 years, is that you kind of see things grow and change and evolve over time. So things progress and regress, or science proves one side, and then later it proves the other side. So what is going on right now is that a lot of people have been so disconnected through chronic technology and media use or just being programmed from the television is that there is such a disconnection with basic understanding of human physiology in addition to things like the rise in atheism has disconnected us from basic understanding of natural law and spiritual law and um a lot of times uh, the, the media, what it's doing is it's like dictating this lower form of consciousness. So I've talked about this in other videos and other blogs um, that I can also post down below, but we have our higher mind and our lower mind. The higher mind is the gateway of wisdom and higher intelligence, the higher consciousness. It's the communication that you have with your spiritual self or or, or your soul. The lower mind, um, you know, that has that word, the reptilian brain, is almost like the dark side of your brain. It is, uh, it operates through logic and, and rationality. And in reality, we need both. But a lot of times, what's happening today is that people are tapping into their lower mind and media consciousness, lower consciousness taps into the more reptilian brain. When you tap into that part of you, that is um, igniting your sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight. And that is opposite of the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest phase of your nervous system. That's what you activate um, when you're sleeping, but also while you're communing you know, in spirit through like yoga, meditation, nature walks. You're in tune. So... A lot of people are operating through the lower mind. That's the reptilian brain. That's where a lot of the destruction is happening. It's happening on a self-destructive level, but also on a collective destructive level. And so what people fail to understand or realize, especially if they don't have any spiritual knowledge, is that planet Earth right now is a incarnation of polarity so you have north and south you have right and left east and west whatever you have on this side you have something that is on the other side so a lot of times when you're talking about energy you're not you can't have energy rise on one side without kind of some other op, um, equal opposite reaction on the other side so what we've seen politically is the extreme ends who have the loudest voice on the channel is, is really starting to rise and increase in polarity. And in um, the video uh, picture, I chose the waters rising of Moses, how Moses split the sea into two. And if you look at that, um, water symbolizes emotions. And, and the earth is grounding. So we do want to ground our feet into the earth and stay balanced with all of this rise of emotion that's happening on, on both ends. And in the far future, in that picture, it shows the light. And if you're really looking at that image, it, it shows the light, but it almost shows it in a heart-shaped center. This is going to, I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, certain thoughts on the heart and the light in a separate video. But through basic laws of physics is that if you have two waves moving from opposite directions to come into one another, they collide and create an amplitude. And you either have a constructive interference or a destructive interference. And generally the constructive interference is when the amplitude rises. So you have two waves. They say they're equal, the crests are equal in size. And once they meet, it expands kind of explodes into a bigger wave. So that's the amplitude. And generally one side of the amplitude kind of hogs down or goes on a crest of another. So if you think about 
two waves crashing in together. It's, it's complete chaos. Particles and water and everything is splashing all over the place. And if you're having a bird's eye view of, of like a medieval war, you see the rise and, and that ego flush and the rage going into one another to crash. And once they crash, that's when, you know, the particles of blood and, and destruction have really started to react. 2021 is going to be an interesting year. There are so many spiritual people or astrologers talking about this and that. And I do believe that the ultimate source of God and, and the light has Trump over everything uh, spiritual in sense on a predictive nature. I'm going to talk a lot about this, um, this kind of light that clicked with my thoughts on predictions and things like that, also in a separate video. But what we are doing today is increasing the amplitude or increasing the crests basically of these two polar energies. So right now we have the option. We can get lost in the sea of the abyss on both sides or one side of um, the uh, energies, the polarities that are rising, or we can take this as a silver lining and, and look at the ground that is laid out in front of us and really ground ourselves. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean just stick your head in the sand and not be aware. It, it's, it's to be aware of what's going on and also walking still in that spiritual path of being a beacon of light for people. So not necessarily putting them down for what their spiritual belief is or whatever, um, but grounding yourself and being aware and not fueling the consciousness that lies in the polar energies. A lot of people who sit in the middle don't really have a voice or an opinion. One, because it's not that sexy. And two, um, because uh, they, they are fearful of some reprimand or backlash from one or both sides. I've been doing this channel for almost three years, and it's not really risen that much in a lot of the um, subscribers because a lot of what I talk about is pretty much from a middle point of view. It's not loud. It's not, you know, I don't have purple hair or tattoos. I'm not making things super sexy. I'm just, you know, using my webcam here. And, um, and, and a lot of that stuff was like, you have to be very mainstream in order for that voice to rise. And so generally you tend to get sucked into some side or the other on a, on a polar basis. And a lot of times that logic and middle of the path road is, is not the popular side. And so when you're re-looking at that picture of Moses parting the sea, you have the ability to walk through a very grounding path and continue to develop your spirituality to be aware but not get lost in the sea of the abyss. And that is the part or the path that is, once again, not necessarily, you know, sexy on a modern level of what, you know, sells, but it's actually the the point in the truth for a lot of things because one side or the other is going to self-destruct not only themselves but the other side. Um, I would say that throughout the polarity rising, um, I'm just trying to look uh, at a couple things here. So um, when we're looking at the polarity rises, it, it I think I already mentioned this, but it creates an opportunity to ground ourselves into the earth and with our emotions and keep focus on the light. I do believe we are at a point in human history where our consciousness and the things that we um, focus on will manifest. There is a there are a lot of people, astrologers talking um, in 2021 how there there is energy for potential combustion of planets which kind of some sim, sim, symbolizes war. I do think if we focus on doom and gloom, we can easily manifest that and the more we can easily manifest it is by getting lost in the polar ends of the spectrum. Um, and most People right now don't, you know, if you are a middle of the ground person, you don't really relate to either end of the spectrum because they're both filled with so much ego and energy and hate and and none of it comes from a higher sense of knowledge or thought. So if we are similar to a balloon, you know, we are in this new age of Aquarius, which is an air sign. I'm uh, an Aquarius, so I can say that I've gotten lost in my head so much that it's taken me a lot of years to ground myself 
to ground myself. <clears throat> and um, now that I'm seeing this kind of play out in the masses, we really can become little airhead balloons that are fluttering around in the ethers. So we really have to get that tether and tie it down tight and continue our path. A lot of spiritual channels have also just been, you know, it's like everything is always talking about politics and things like that. So um, with everything being politicized, we're also losing a lot of the speakers that continuously encourage or challenge people to grow and evolve or just focus on the light. So um, I would say that right now this, this option, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted because I'm getting little pings from my computer um, that are popping up. So during this time, my suggestion is just to remain grounded. And the ways that you do that are through things that activate your parasympathetic nervous system. So those are things like gentle nature walks and yoga and meditation, listening to soothing music um, or just music that you find inspirational, working on art. We can, like alchemy, transmute the pain or the anger or the frustration that's within us and, and use that towards some form of creative energy. You know, that's, that's the whole point of um, having a, a moral compass is how do you use your energy? Is it for creation or destruction? I've talked about this in a video I think I filmed like two years ago. I don't think it was the best video I ever did. Um, I don't even remember what I said, but I just mentioned that destruction and creation are one. Um, and every single day we are holding the hands of life force energy to create or destruct. And we can destruct people even through our words that can cut like a sword on the social media channels. And this is just continuing the cycle of bullying or putting people down, calling them stupid, and just um, continuing the thread of negativity. So if we can ground ourselves, then we can continue to walk and move forward without getting too distracted. And that's a lot of what's going on right now is that things are so hopped up that um, we tend to get distracted and we're losing focus and you can easily lose yourself in the rise of the polarity. Some people's mission and that's, that's where they're being called to do that is to step up and work into that area of, of where they see fit. Um, I don't know, 2021 has a lot of energy to expose the truth and I think we still have to continue to stay firm on the ground with our feet to know that the truth will be exposed one day and when it does it's going to be ugly. So these are some thoughts that I have. If you want to check out the blog links below about this, um, there is such an inner web of connection in between being grounded and also understanding how the ego fuels us and taps into different parts of our nervous system. All of it is intertwined like our its own little ecosystem or galaxy. So you can choose to go down a destructive path or more of a, a path of, you know, transmuting that energy in a different way. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing.